Okay, finally in this video, I'm gonna tell you how I charge my clients and how you can charge your clients too. Hopefully, I'm gonna smash the dilemma for many aspiring chauffeurs out there, many potential chauffeurs that uh, have this problem, including myself. I was the same long time ago. I didn't know how to charge. But in this video, finally, I'm gonna give you my formulas, my three formulas, how I charge my clients. After you watch this video, I want you to tell me if you have any secret strategy or any formulas that you use in order to charge your clients. My name is Ratko a Sydney-based chauffeur, aka Ray. On this channel, I share my passion by giving you a glimpse into my chauffeur life. Welcome to the channel. In my early days of my chauffeuring career, there was one question that was bothering me for a very long time, and that's how I charge my clients. I started my chauffeur journey a long time ago. I used to drive for this uh, company, still driving my own vehicle, so I was a contractor with this company that was providing transportation service for the airlines and we used to get paid based on the predetermined prices by this company and we didn't have to worry about the pricing or anything like that by the end of the week we used to get paid from these prices eventually i came to a stage in my chauffeur career where i had to price um, the trips myself talking about uh, the private clientele here. So gradually I was building my private clientele. So simply, I wasn't sure how to give a price to my client. If someone would have rang me back then and say, Ray, I need you to take me from A to B, how much are you gonna charge me? And I was like, oh, oh I'm not sure, let me see. Uh, and now I wanna share with you three ways that I've prepared on how I charge my clients so you can charge your clients too. Show for life. My first formula is base times the distance plus the time, which means it's a combination of three components, which means you need to combine the base. I'll explain in a, in a sec what's the base, how many kilometers, and also obviously how much you're going to charge per kilometer, and also the time. How long does it take from point A to point B? Now, what's the base fare? The base fare is minimum fare distance from point A to point B. So you need to decide for yourself whether it's that 15 kilometers, whether it's 10 kilometers, but you need to decide what's the minimum distance. You with me? You have to have a distance which is minimum that you charge for your limo services. For example, if the distance between A to B is 20 kilometers, well, if you're charging $70 for your base, so that's your base distance, base where for the first 10 kilometers, and then after 10, you're charging per kilometer and per minute. So it has to be a combination per kilometer and also per minute too. Sometimes a client might call you and say, can you please take me from point A to point B? Oh, don't worry, it takes only five minutes. Don't fall for that trap because five minutes from point A to point B, but you might be one hour away from that point A, which means it's gonna take you one hour to get to point A. In that scenario, you're using from point A to point B, you're using that base minimum fare that we've just discussed. So if your base fare is $70, if you, I'm not sure what's your base fare, you have to decide for yourself, can't decide that. So based on your service, based on the quality of the service that you're providing, you have to decide your base minimum fare. And if the client calls you and say, look, can you please take me from point A to point B? It only takes five minutes. If your base fare, for example, it's $80, you're gonna say, look, I know, I understand it's five minutes, but that's our base minimum fare. So your trip is gonna cost you $80. Now, different scenario for this type of pricing. If the distance is 30 kilometers from point A to point B, and your base minimum fare is $80, so it's going to be 30 kilometers total. So the first 10, you're gonna be charging that minimum base fare, and for the remaining 20 kilometers, you're gonna be charging 20 kilometers times whatever you charge for per kilometer. It could be 40 cents, 50 cents, 60 cents. I'm not sure, you need to decide that, plus how long it's taking, say the minutes. So you need to decide how much do you charge per minute, plus the kilometers, plus the base fare. 
if on the way from point A to point B there are some obstacles, when I say obstacles I'm talking about some additional expenses that you need to pay from your own pocket, like um, road tolls, like uh, airport costs, like uh, parking, all these expenses need to be charged separately on the top of that price. This price is to be taken as an example only because uh, the minimum base fare and also the calculations, the distance, the time is something that you need to decide based on the quality of the service that you're providing. Show for life. The second method of pricing, the second formula is much simpler. So if you don't like the calculations, if you don't want to calculate the time, the distance, uh, I think uh, I'm recommending for you to use this formula, which is very simple and it's called zone pricing. Zone pricing is obviously you need to draw zones around the town, around it doesn't matter if you're living in a small town or if in, in a large city, make a zone. Simply take the ruler and um, uh, draw a, a zones, like a circles on the map. So you see, you're starting with the smallest one, which say it's going to, it's going to be a radius of 10 to 15 kilometers um, around the center of the city. And obviously for that 10, 15 kilometers uh, smallest zone, you're going to be using your minimum base fare, whatever it is. And then that's again something that you need to decide. Then zone two, for example, it's going to be 20 to 25 kilometers, so zone three, 30 to 35, four and so on and so on. So this is very effective and very simple way of uh, calculating your fare. Again, if on the way from point A to point B, uh, there are tolls that needs to be paid. In Sydney, we've got a lot of tolls. The tolls are everywhere in Sydney. I have to trade my kidney to drive uh, through a couple of, of freeways uh, down here in New South Wales. However, if this is the case, make sure you charge separately on the top of your prices these extras. So this is central Sydney. At the moment, it's uh, 20 minutes after 2 o'clock. Quarter to three, which is in 25 minutes roughly, I'm picking up a client from exactly from this place. And um, I can't simply leave this location because it's going to be impossible for me to come back and pick up the client quarter to three. So that's why I have to stay here all the way until that time. But the problem is I'm parked on this uh, illegally, uh, no parking zone. And hopefully if these guys, uh, the rangers approaches, you gotta be a bit of diplomatic with these people and uh, explain to them there's no chance to, to come back for that quarter to three time that I have to be here and hopefully they will understand and won't give me a ticket. And, and the last method that I'm gonna mention in this video, it's a simple formula that you can use for your clients and uh, whenever they call you, it's very simple and it's very easy to, to make the quotation. Based on what's point A and point B, you can calculate how long it takes and you charge per 10 minutes. All you need to do is just decide how much do you charge per 10 minutes. For example, if you're charging, this is something that you need to decide, but if you're charging $50 per 10 minutes uh, and it takes half an hour from point A to point B, that means you need to charge the client 150 If the distance between point A and point B is 40 minutes, based on $50 per 10 minutes, you need to charge your client $200. So it doesn't have to be $200. Call it 195 call it 175 but it's going to be around that $200 mark. So this was my last formula for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have some strategies when it comes to pricing. So if you're a chauffeur, if you're part of this trade, please let me know in the comment section down below how do you price and what sort of methods, what sort of formulas do you use in order to charge your clients. Please let me know. I would like to know. Thanks for watching.